Well, there's a number of numerical values that you can read directly from the eye diagram. These performance measures or performance metrics are fairly easy to determine once you know what you're looking for. So for example, one of the things we'd like to be able to identify is the maximum eye opening, and that tells us the optimum sampling time. As you consider the maximum encroachment in, into the eye pattern, that's an indicator of the intersymbol interference. And you can define uh, a peak ISI value from that as well. Now the distance from your decision threshold, which is zero, to the minimum value, well that defines your noise margin. That says how far you can go before you will start to run into a decision error. The optimum noise, noise margin occurs at the same place we've determined as our optimum sampling time. Another metric is the zero crossing jitter. This particular signal that I'm using as an example doesn't have very much, but typically you'll see some spread back and forth in time. Now the slope, that's related to the timing sensitivity. And by slope, I'm referring to the slope in the vicinity of that zero crossing. For example, supposing this is our optimum sampling point, the, the notion of timing sensitivity is how far can you be in error on that optimum before you start running into troubles. So in this case, you see that we can shift back and forth a, a fair amount without really causing too much um, difficulty. But we see that the farther we get away from that optimum sampling point, the more likely we're going to start seeing more encroachment into the eye, and that's a problem. So that would be, this would be an example of something where we have a more shallow slope, and that says that we have reduced noise margin when we have that sample position error. Therefore, shallow slope, that means that we've got higher problems with ISI when our sample point is misplaced. Well, I'm going to go ahead now and define a number of things based on our decision threshold and this maximum value of one, maximum amplitude. If we look at this encroachment into the eye pattern, that's our definition of inner symbol interference or ISI. Typically, you'll be able to identify a band here and also on the other side, and this corresponds to our jitter in time. Now, if our optimum sampling point happens to be in the center of the eye pattern, which is true for a symmetrical eye pattern, this particular example I'm looking at is not quite symmetrical, then the distance from our zero decision threshold to that upper boundary is our noise margin. And this distance would correspond to our timing error sensitivity value.